this upgrade in McDonald's. the camera. Hi. Say what's up YouTube. What's up YouTube? Say we're at the oldest operating McDonald's right now. McDonald's right Right? The prices are better. I can't see that. Clark had better luck with charity debt. In 1969, he was 
Hi, baby. I'm videoing. I'm videoing for YouTube, Mama. Yeah. So showing them the oldest operating McDonald's. Now in his 70s, Ray began to enjoy the spoils of his riches. He used his money to fulfill his lifelong dream of owning a baseball team. For years, he had tried to buy his favorite childhood team, the Chicago Cubs, but their owner was Finally, in 1974, Ray bought the struggling San Diego Padres, who were about to be moved to Washington, D.C. Buddy Cabane, he was in the president of the San Diego Packers, he got a call from Crocs attorney. And he said, I have a man who wants to buy a ball club. And he said, well, um, how many in this group? Just one. He said, how's he going to pay for it? Cash. And he's the guy that really was a savior of baseball in San Diego. And nobody knew who he was. We didn't know this was a, the man who created McDonald's. Here he comes in, little guy, kind of a feisty guy. And he said, well, first we're going to do about a win around here. Croc brought his trademark enthusiasm to the game of baseball. But at the Padres' 1974 home opener, he got a little too enthusiastic. We were behind another eight for us in the second or third inning. And Ray marched down to the PA, and he got on the microphone and apologized to the guy. This is the worst team I've ever seen in my life. I don't know, apologize to these people. I'm proud we're going to win on these things, and I think these people are awful on the field. It'll never happen again. And he went on and on. He gets up there, PA in hand. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, leave that. And if they come in my ballpark, I don't own the ballpark. See my ballpark? I want them to get value. And that's what I want them to get from McDonald's. And as long as I can give them value, I'm going to have them coming in. When I can't give them value, I'm going to have to be right somebody. After that, of course, the fans love him for it, for being just a normal person, but with a billion dollars in his pocket. Ray garnered more attention for his exploits with the Padres than he ever did with McDonald's. He tried desperately to turn the team around with little success. The Padres had only one winning season the next six years. Croc was frustrated and began to feel the effects of age. In his late 70s, Croc scaled back his day-to-day -day involvement with the club, but still remained a favorite with the San Diego fans. On October 2nd, 1992, the Padres threw their own glorious 80th birthday party. <laughs> At the beginning of the game, uh, Ray drove around the, the entire stadium in an open convertible car, waving at everybody and loving every minute of it. It was really fantastic. Yeah. 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 It was one of Ray's last shining moments. A year later, he suffered a series of debilitating strokes that would eventually confine him to the hospital. On January 14, 1984, Ray Kroc died of heart failure. He was 81. Ray left behind a fortune estimated at more than $500 million. Ten months later, McDonald's sold its 50 billionth burger. His widow, Joan, inherited the Padres and carried on the Kroc baseball tradition. During the 1984 season, the team wore Ray's initials on their sleeves as they went on to win the National League pennant. Joan celebrated with the team after a momentous victory. The happiest moment of my life, and I dedicate this happy moment of my life to Ray. May he 
rest in peace and be forever and ever happy. We love them. Today, McDonald's success continues with no end in sight. The numbers are staggering. McDonald's is preparing to open its 25,000th unit. One of every eight Americans has worked for McDonald's. And according to a recent survey, the golden arches are now more recognizable around the world than the Christian cross. McDonald's has truly reached epic proportions. All of it accomplished through the vision of Ray Kroc. He is a giant in the food industry, equaling anything that anybody did anywhere else. Henry Ford, you can talk about him, talk about the Wright brothers here. <laughs> this, is, this guy dominates what he got into. I don't think the McDonald brothers ever dreamt of anything uh, like this. I think they, uh, they had a very good concept that you have to tip your hat to to them for that. But I think it was Ray's vision that really, really made McDonald's go. Here you take this kid from not a wealthy background, a son of an immigrant, very much caught in love, creates this multi-million dollar corporation that's no normal woman. So as dad is American capitalism, he's about as successful as he is. Alright people, and that's about it. Thanks for watching.